Ever wondered if there's a cap on how much protein your body can absorb in a single meal? Today, we're diving into a hot topic in the fitness world, protein consumption. It's been widely accepted that our bodies can only utilize 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal, leading many to believe that any surplus is simply wasted. But could this widely held belief be flawed? Could our bodies actually handle more? Stick around to find out if this protein limit is fact or fiction. Let's dive right in. Is this 20 to 25 gram limit even true? You might be surprised to know that this belief can be traced back to several scientific studies that took place in the late 90s and early 2000s. Researchers wanted to understand how our bodies utilize protein, and their results led to the widespread belief that there's a cap on how much protein our bodies can use in one sitting. One such study conducted by a group of scientists in the United States found that when individuals consumed a meal containing 30 grams of protein, muscle protein synthesis, that's the process of building new muscle, was stimulated. However, when the same individuals consumed a meal with more than 30 grams of protein, there was no significant increase in muscle protein synthesis. This led the researchers to conclude that the maximum amount of protein that can be utilized for muscle building in a single meal is around 30 grams. Meanwhile, another group of scientists, this time from Australia, conducted a study where they fed participants meals containing various amounts of protein. Their findings? The muscle protein synthesis was maximized with a meal containing around 20 grams of protein. So, based on these studies, it seemed like the 20 to 25 gram limit was established. But was it that simple? Not quite. You see, our bodies don't just stop absorbing protein when we've hit that 20 to 25 gram mark. Instead, the process of protein absorption is much more gradual and complex. While it's true that muscle protein synthesis might peak at around 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal, our bodies continue to absorb and use the protein we consume. The excess protein isn't simply wasted, as some might believe. It's used in other ways, like repairing tissues, making enzymes and hormones, and supporting our immune systems. But these initial studies don't give us the full picture, do they? What about people who are more active or those who have higher protein needs? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of protein absorption and muscle growth in our next segment. A scene script. How about 100 grams of protein in a single meal? Is that too much? Now that's a question that can cause quite a stir in the fitness world. For years, we've been told that our bodies can only absorb 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal. Anything beyond that, they say, is simply a waste. But what if I told you that recent studies suggest we might be able to absorb and utilize much more than that? Let's dive into some of these studies. A study published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition found that the body's ability to absorb protein is not limited to the previously believed 25 grams per meal. This study suggests that our bodies can absorb and utilize a significantly higher amount of protein, close to 40 grams per meal. Another study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that muscle protein synthesis, the process your body uses to build muscle, continues to increase with higher protein intakes up to 60 grams per meal. So what does this mean? Well, it's starting to look like the traditional belief that we can only absorb 25 grams of protein per meal might be outdated. If these studies are correct, then our bodies can absorb and utilize much more protein than we previously thought. This could have significant implications for athletes, bodybuilders, and fitness enthusiasts who are trying to maximize their muscle growth and recovery. But hold on a moment, you might be thinking, okay, so maybe we can absorb more protein, but what about the claim that anything beyond 25 grams is wasted? Well, that's another area where recent research is challenging traditional beliefs. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that while there is a limit to how much protein the body can use for muscle building at any one meal, the excess protein isn't wasted. Instead, it can be used for other important bodily functions like supporting immune function and aiding in the production of hormones and enzymes. So, how about 100 grams of protein in a single meal? While there isn't direct research supporting this amount, the recent studies we've discussed suggest that our bodies might be more capable of absorbing and utilizing higher amounts of protein than we previously believed. Of course, these findings are still relatively new, and more research is needed to fully understand the implications. In the meantime, it might be worth considering your protein intake and whether it aligns with the most recent scientific findings. After all, if you're working hard in the gym, you want to make sure your nutrition is working just as hard for you. 
These findings certainly make you question the traditional protein limit, don't they? But what does the direct data say about protein absorption? Let's delve into the heart of the matter, shall we? Scientific studies on protein absorption are a treasure trove of information. They offer us a glimpse into the complex world of our bodies and how they handle this vital nutrient. One such study, published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, examined the effects of a single dose of 20, 40, and 60 grams of whey protein on muscle protein synthesis. The results? Even at 60 grams, muscle protein synthesis continued to increase. This suggests that our bodies can in fact utilize more than the often cited 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal. But wait, there's more! Another study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition had participants consume 0, 5, 10, 20, and 40 grams of egg protein after a resistance workout. And guess what they found? Similar to the previous study, muscle protein synthesis increased linearly with protein intake up to 40 grams. The waste theory of protein consumption seems to be faltering under the weight of direct data. Now let's add another layer to this. A study from the Journal of Physiology took a different approach. Instead of looking at a single meal, they examined the effects of distributing 80 grams of protein across four meals versus two meals. The result was a significant increase in muscle protein synthesis in the group that distributed their protein intake across four meals. This suggests that frequency and distribution of protein intake throughout the day may play a significant role in optimal protein utilization. What does all this mean for the age-old belief of the protein limit per meal? Well, it seems like it's time for a rethink. The direct data points towards our bodies being capable of utilizing more than 25 grams of protein per meal. It also suggests that the distribution of protein intake throughout the day could be just as important if not more so than the amount of protein consumed in a single meal. But before we get carried away, remember that these findings don't give us a free pass to gorge on protein. Balance and moderation are still key. Too much protein can lead to unnecessary calorie intake and potential strain on our kidneys. It's about finding the right balance that works for your body and your fitness goals. So the next time you're planning your meals or grabbing a post-workout snack, remember that your body might be more efficient at using protein than you've been led to believe, and perhaps it might be worth considering how you distribute your protein intake throughout the day. It's clear that the traditional belief on protein limit may not hold water, but as always science is an ever-evolving field and we continue to learn and adapt based on new information. After all, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to understanding our bodies and optimizing our health and fitness. So, what have we learned about the protein limit per meal? We've taken a journey today, exploring the long-standing belief that one should only consume 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal for optimal muscle growth. We've delved into the origins of this belief and questioned its validity. We've seen that the assertion of protein waste beyond this limit is not grounded in comprehensive scientific evidence. We've examined the possibility of consuming 100 grams of protein in a single meal, challenging the traditional ideas of protein absorption and utilization. We've also looked at direct data from scientific studies, observing that higher protein intake, even exceeding 100 grams per meal, could indeed be beneficial for muscle protein synthesis. This data suggests that our bodies might be more adaptable and efficient at protein absorption and utilization than we previously thought. In conclusion, the belief that there's a strict protein limit per meal might not hold water. It seems that, within reason, more protein could indeed be better for muscle growth. However, it's important to remember that everyone's body is different, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's always best to listen to your body and adjust your diet accordingly. So, as we wrap up, Let's keep an open mind, continue to question long-held beliefs, and rely on scientific evidence when making dietary decisions. Remember, when it comes to protein, more might just be better. Thanks for tuning in.